In this video, we will provide guidance in the safe use of LED screen support structures. LED screen support structures are subject to the same design standards as, for example, outdoor roof systems. Like with other temporary demountable structures, we can define two stages of use, the in-surface situation and the out-of-surface situation. In the in-surface situation, the structure can be fully operated, while in the out-of-surface situation, measures should be taken to minimize the influence of wind. These measures, for example, can be the removal of loads or large wind-catching objects like LED screens. Due to the way LED screens are constructed, however, it's very unlikely they can be removed within an acceptable time frame of, let's say, 15 minutes. You might be able to lower it to ground level, but this still means that the supporting structure should be strong and stable enough to withstand the wind forces for the out-of-service situation including the lowered screen. But what about the LED screen itself? Can it properly resist the wind gust? Not likely. The small installation depth means they have a low allowable bending moment, which is vital to withstand the forces properly. We recommend to ask your supplier. The illustrated comparison between cross-section of an average screen and a box thrush shows the difference in strength. This means that you may need to add supporting trusses at the back of the screen at a certain distance. The size of the trusses depend on the span, their intermediate distance and of course the strength of the LED screen itself. The weaker the screen, the more support trusses are needed. These supporting trusses also help to prevent the screen from swinging in the wind. Swinging should be avoided at all times, since it causes additional unwanted dynamic forces and dramatically influences the structure's stability. Besides, these additional trusses help to lower the overturning moment and thus the required amount of ballast. Using a set of guy ropes to tie the screen down to the base of the structure is a bad idea. It dramatically increases the forces on the LED screen and the support structure. The physical behavior I mentioned before is valid for each type of LED screen support structure. The most commonly used setups are shown. The deeper the structure, the less ballast will be needed. This means each of them has their pros and cons. Whatever you choose, we are more than happy to assist in making the right decision. Thank you very much. Milos works better.